Ah, the yoke clamp. A device with origins dating all the way back to Jacques Cousteau himself. The corded phone of the scuba industry. Completely obsolete, but just common enough to keep around. Here's the deal. I know I'm gonna step on some toes in this video, but yoke, A-clamp, INT, hot garbage, whatever you want to call this thing, stop buying it. Hey, Churcher with Rest and Rec, bringing you another video of a product I am not a fan of. But before we get into it, a word from today's sponsor, Keeps Hair Treatment. Keeps Hair Treatment. Because if the world's richest man is bald, then you know that money can't regrow your hair. Oh, what? Did I say the wrong thing? Stop buying stupid stuff you know doesn't work. Now, on with the video. Din is better than yolk. In every way. How dare you! Look, scuba equipment's expensive, and I understand that when people throw large sums of money behind something, they feel obligated to throw their ego behind it as well. But this is important, and I feel like it needs to be said. And no one is willing to say it. Every single YouTube channel that involves scuba diving has a Yoke vs. Den video, but not one is willing to say the obvious, that Den is superior. Actually, I consistently hear people avoiding saying that. First thing to clarify, DIN is not better. No sir, I have to humbly disagree. Why you say? Functionality. And you know me, I'm all about functionality. Yoke does an adequate job, which is the reason why the point of this video isn't telling you that you need to go out and change all your yoke valves over to DIN. What I'm telling you is going forward, buy DIN. See, here's the thing about yokes. So look in there, you see that? That's the yoke orifice. The way this works is it sandwiches an O14 O-ring up against the valve. That's how it makes the seal. And when I say sandwiched, I mean like literally forces these two bits of metal together, leaving the main failure point, the rubber O-ring, completely exposed. Now, a DIN regulator, if you look here, uses the much larger 112 O-ring, and this entire piece goes inside and is completely encased by the valve, which not only protects the O-ring and the mounting components completely from the environment, but it also gives it a much higher working pressure tolerance. So whenever it comes to handling higher working pressures, the DIN is not only better for dealing with deliberate high pressure steel tanks, but also for the occasional overfilled recreational aluminum tank as well. Oh, the guy working the compressor left your tank on a little too long? Now, let's talk a little bit more about O-rings. On top of DIN having bigger, better O-rings, they also have the O-ring inside the regulator itself, as opposed to with the yoke, you have to use the O-ring that's on the tank. Every other O-ring that's on a dive boat is bad, guaranteed. And you have to think, these dive boats that are constantly using these tanks, these O-rings are getting worn out like crazy. That mean they're always being used, they're always exposed to hot tropical climates. I mean, these O-rings blowing out left and right. And unless you or the dive master have a spare O-ring, odds are you're gonna be playing musical tanks to find a good O-ring while the rest of the boat is getting ready to dive. But you know who does have good O-rings? You do. Your O-rings versus the dive boat's O-rings. Bruh. Prior to the dive, if the O-ring is in your regulator, you get to inspect it and make sure that it's good to go. And if it's not good to go, you can switch it out at home on your own and know that it's set prior to even showing up to the boat. With a yoke, well, you're stuck trusting whatever the boat's got for you. Bruh. And here's another thing about the diving industry, and this isn't some industry secret. Every diver who dives beyond like your shallow water tropical dives all use DIN. Cave divers use DIN. Wreck divers use DIN. Don't have this big chunky A-clamp knob sticking out waiting to get smashed in an overhead environment. Disturb that O-ring and all of a sudden you've got a catastrophic gas loss on your hands. Ice divers use DIN. We get a lot of tropical divers bringing their equipment here with the A-clamp set up and we go diving, we have O-rings blowing out, we have hissing, we have lots of complications. So the DIN regulator really is the only way to dive here in Iceland. Deep technical divers use steel tanks. Steel tanks have higher working pressures. They use DIN. Side mount uses DIN. Smaller profile. And for all these reasons, this is a lot more common in the side mount and technical world. Want to go to Europe and dive? Believe it or not, DIN. Oh, but church, there are some tropical dive destinations that only use yolk. Oh, really? 
Really, you know of a dive location or a dive shop that takes themselves seriously that exclusively uses yolk. Tell me in the comments who they are so we can all mock them together. Oh wait, what's that? You mean they primarily use yolk? Every dive shop, every dive location, every dive training center at least offers DIN. Shoot, it's 2021. Most dive locations that are worth their wit are using pro valves like these where you can easily switch between the two. Oh, well, Church, my dive shop's been around since the 70s, has been using yolk for half a century. It'd be really disruptive to show up with a DIN. Okay, okay, fine. Some of these old-timey dive shops might not have a high number of DIN valves on hand and readily available. So call these guys ahead of time, make sure they can accommodate you. Also, they're probably going to be blown away by the fact that you're diving with a computer rather than using the tables. All right, you primitive dive shops. Listen up. See this? This is my dive computer. And if for whatever reason they can't accommodate you, check this out. A simple $30 adapter screwed onto this. And you now have a yoke regulator that can be used on a yoke tank. Okay, I think I've hit the functionality thing hard enough. Let's talk practicality. Look how much bulkier yoke is than DIN. Yoke is bigger, bulkier, heavier, and less convenient to travel with overall than a DIN. Because DIN uses far less materials, it's much lighter. And speaking of convenience, this is the part where people on the internet will typically say, oh, but yoke is just so convenient. All you have to do is remove the dust cap, line it up, and then screw it on. It's that easy. Ah, see, there you got me. See, with the DIN, it's so much more complicated. What you have to do is you remove the dust cap, line it up, screw it on, and... Oh wait, that's it. It's the same steps. Price. Now, there was a time in the past where yoke was a lot cheaper than DIN, but nowadays, every single major manufacturer that I've found priced these two the exact same. So I guess my big question is, is if the DIN is so much smaller, stronger, and more convenient, and priced the exact same as the yoke, then why does yoke still exist? Good question. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because every single dive shop and instructor sells new students on yoke. We've all heard it a million times before. Well, you know, if all you're planning to do is dive in tropical water, no more than 60 feet down, and only in clear, warm environments, then you should go with the yolk because it's more common. <sighs> the freaking more common argument. Dudes, it's common because we keep putting people on it. If we made DIN the common standard, this would take over yolk overnight because it is just that much better. And if DIN became the standard, not only would people be more safe, but they wouldn't outgrow their yolks like I did. Now, after hearing all of this, if you still aren't convinced, answer me this. Let's just say in some parallel universe, DIN is the standard. Meaning that anywhere in North America or the Caribbean, if you walk into a dive shop or go on a dive boat, the standard when you ask for a tank is they hand you an aluminum 80 with a DIN valve on it. Now, tell me, in what scenario would you take that cylinder and convert it to a yoke? When would you tell yourself that, all right, for this dive, yoke is going to outperform DIN? I can't think of any. So if you can think of some, let me know in the comments section below. So to all of you out there that are looking to buy a new regulator, don't buy this. Go for the DIN. Sure. DIN is definitely the, uh, the way to go. Hey, I see you made it to the end of this video and didn't hit that subscribe button. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Seriously, dropping a like and a comment is free and it helps this channel more than you know. Anyway, I hope I didn't step on anyone's toes too badly. This has been Church with Rest and Rank. Take it easy. I know there are great debates across the scuba industry Primary versus secondary donate, BCD versus backplate and wing, diaphragm versus piston. There are solid arguments for both sides of all of these debates. Not for yoke though, because they're safer, more reliable, and can handle higher working pressures. Aesthetics. Eh, well, I don't know. In my opinion, less is more, so. Den wins again. <laughs>